Hey guys, Amp here, bringing you another Affinity Photo tutorial, and in this tutorial we'll be going over the Live Perspective tool. Now, to find this tool, you can come up to the Layers panel, and now select a new Live Filter, and go down to Perspective Filter. It's going to come up with this grid design, you see here, and you have a little dialog box. So, you can uh, show the grid, and you can uh, adjust opacity and blend mode for this, but I'm just going to leave it as normal, and I'm actually going to take the grid off, so you can now move these nodes and adjust the perspective of your image. Now what this is useful for is say you wanted to bring these buildings so they looked more upright instead of from a distance. You can now bring them so they look more upright and it is a non-destructive layer that's added over here in the layers panel and you can see if I deselect it does make it blurry just a little bit but you can usually change this with the opacity and just have it come down a little bit and it fixes some of the blurriness. You can also fix up the blurriness with some anti-blur tools, but everything that you add and adjust will be added under whatever layer you're adjusting, and the perspective will be added. You can add and name these perspectives. And this is really useful if you wanted to adjust something like a crooked image, maybe you, your camera wasn't as steady as you thought it was, and it's really useful for adjusting something like that. So you can just take it off and add it back, so as it looks, it looks like it's taken from an angle from the bottom, and now you can move it so it's more upright. Uh, another example of this is right here is very crooked. That's maybe the design of the architect, but say you wanted to fix that, you can go back in to the perspective filter and adjust it. You can change the perspective. on the image. And now the top is more straight. <clears throat> so this is really useful for just adjusting things in general as uh, how you want to view the angle. Um, you can change lighting effects. So uh, in a previous tutorial we discussed lighting and you can add that into uh, this skill and it will teach you, you can have multiple angles and change lighting effects and everything's organized under a specific layer so if you don't like it you can just uh, cancel it, it's a non-destructive tool there's another tool down here which will be in another tutorial which is the perspective tool and this is a destructive layer, this, this changes the actual image, it's not adding a new layer and then changing it uh, but that will be for a separate tutorial and this is really useful for just subtle adjustments of perspective. It does tend to make people and images blurry, so it's more for a scenery change. So if you're changing something like these buildings, there's no people in it, so you don't really need to worry about that. But you can see the guy down here did get a little blurrier and more stretched out. So uh, that is the layer perspective tool and uh, just one more point is if you have snapping on it's easier to get everything level with the grid so it will snap to make sure everything's uh, level and uh, that's it for this tutorial if you like the tutorial give it a thumbs up subscribe for more affinity photo and affinity designer tutorials and uh, thanks for watching